Hello and welcome to this MobiFlight release video. My name is Sebastian. I'm the creator of the MobiFlight project and on August 15, 2020, I released uh, a new version 7.9.0. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the new features, improvements and the bug fixes that came with that release. Let's head over to the website on www.mobiflight.com where you can download here in the download section the latest version for free. And for those who don't know, Mobi, Mobi Flight is your cheap, easy and flexible way to create a home cockpit and connect actual hardware devices with your computer so that you then can uh, interface with your favorite flight simulator, for example, Prepare 3D, FSX, X-Plane, or also the just recently launched Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. This is totally free, just try it out. MobiFlight also offers a great community with a lot of support on the forums. On the download page, what you will always find is uh, the release notes for every single individual release and uh, for release 7.9.0, that is also the case. So let's take a look at the individual features, improvements, and bug fixes. So with 253, that says improve startup experience, there, this is a real cool, important change because um, MobiFlight used to be actually pretty slow during startup because the way it kind of tried to find the MobiFlight boards that are connected to your computer, and also it was not very responsive during startup. You would double click on the MobiFlight connector icon and it would take sometimes a couple of moments, even minutes, until the UI really shows. Or sometimes the UI would freeze, would block, and you were just not able to, um, to interact with it. So with the new version, if I go here and I double click, you can see there's a progress bar. I have currently three modules connected and the startup process is pretty fast and it's always reactive and um, that is a really, really good and cool change. The next one is a small change and it's a little hard to show, but basically um, when you're using displays like the seven segment displays uh, and you have more displays, more digits available than your current value is, there was always um, the option to, to choose um, here, for example, the radio has a display module and then I can say, okay, one, two, three, four, five digits. And then you could say use left padding. So if your value was only occupying or using the three last uh, three digits, you wanted to use the last three digits. And then what was used in front was either zero or space. So now if uh, with the new feature, uh, the zero or space is also applied to your value when you're just aligning to the left hand side, meaning that here you have a value that, that uses the first three digits in the past, here would always be zeros or spaces. And now you can actually really define uh, how you want to fill the, the, the remaining digits. 245, write log entries to file. So 245, write log entries to file. This is um, also pretty cool because here in logging, you were always able to enable this and you can choose what kind of log level. This is really good for, um, for troubleshooting. Sometimes you just want to see what's going on in the background and you can see the messages uh, sent to the modules or coming from the modules. It just uh, helps you a little bit with troubleshooting. And um, the window here is pretty limited because you only have three lines and it was sometimes hard, kind of a little cumbersome to share on the forum or so. So now in your installation uh, folder, there you will find a log te text file, which contains the, the exact same information and that makes it a lot easier if you want to see what's going on or if you even um, want to send it to someone over the forum or via email. The next one is 244, allow users to join the beta group and download version for testing before they're officially released. 
So that's a pretty cool feature that helps me during the development process. Sometimes I either have a new feature um, that I want to test in a more complex setup. Sometimes I have uh, a user report, a bug that I cannot reproduce, and then I provide I want to provide a fix for that for that bug. So in both cases, I can now um, put that out for download before it is officially released. And if you want to opt in into the beta pro pro program, then you can go to extras settings and then you can go here to beta versions and then you check uh, this option. And from that point on, you will also get notified when there is a new beta version available. Of course, beta versions are beta versions because they're kind of maybe not as stable or they're really, really like the, the they're not complete so please be patient uh, if you if you sign if you opt into this but again it can be very helpful for me uh, during development process the next one is a small improvement that's 248 stepper adjust the default value for uh, Rev revolution to 2048 and this some um, yeah Pitsman 82 pointed out that the um, this this uh, very very common stepper that everyone's using uh, yeah this one here the 28 B uh, YJ is using 24 20 20 steps 2048 steps for uh, an entire revolution and the default value that you can uh, find in the display area in the display section is now using this so uh, that's just a really really small improvement let's head over to the uh, bug fixes the bug fix here is 242 analog outputs and inputs are not working for the mega yeah that was a feature that had been introduced i think it was down here 781 that was also supporting the analog ports and there was a problem with that and I had to make a little fix and it should be working now. So from now on, if you click here, you can also see how it's mapped. Uh, so the analog port 0 up to analog port 15 maps to 54 respectively 69. So these pins are available in the UI and you should be able to use those as I.O. ports now, which helps to save maybe a little bit of, like reduces the number of Mobify boards in your setup. And then the last one, which is also pretty important and cool one, is um, that there was a problem with loading and saving the PMDG event ID configuration. And um, this was really something that I missed uh, during development when I, when I originally released it. So if you go here and uh, go to input and then let's grab one of these and then you say action type PMDG event ID. Now you can choose from this list and use all these preset, presets and you click OK. The next time it's going to be there. And also when you save it and you load it, because that was when actually the problem really was um, kind of showing, um, this is working now. Good. So you see there, was, there were a couple of new features, uh, improvements, and also bug fixes that made it worth to release a new uh, version, 7.9.0. I hope you like it. And... Um, this is now the end of this release video. If you uh, have not tried Mobiflight yet, or if you want to get to the new, uh, if you want to try the new version, you can either go to the website mobiflight.com, download it from there, or you can also use the auto update, update uh, in, in Mobiflight connector, which is still a little unstable, but is going to be fixed uh, with the next upcoming version. And um, also, if you like this video and you want to stay informed, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. And I hope to see you on the next video or on the uh, forum on the Mobiflight community. Or, of course, you can also join our Discord channel. So, 
with this being said, I wish you many happy landings and fun with your home cockpit, especially with Moby Flight. Um, maybe we see each other online someday and we can fly together. Have a good one. Bye-bye.